Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my channel. Just to introduce myself briefly, I'm Dr. Antonio Previsera, and I'm a surgeon. I'm originally Italian, but trained in London, United Kingdom, and the United States of America. I've been in the surgery field for over 20 years and have a particular interest in colon, rectal and anal surgery, weight loss surgery, abdominal wall hernias and many other surgical procedures. I'm a fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons of England and the fellow of the American Society of Colon and Rectal Surgery and have many other international affiliations and memberships. I will be posting many videos in the coming weeks and months with the aim of explaining some common surgical conditions and their current treatment. Videos will be mainly directed to a non-medical audience and therefore I will try to be as simple as possible. As I'm currently working in the Gulf area, I've chosen to use Arabic subtitles that will help me reach as many of you as possible. The first topic I will be discussing is anal fistula. Around the back passage, there are some glands uh, between the muscles that control the continents, uh, and this may get infected and create a tract, an abnormal communication between the skin and the inside of the back passage. People may experience pain, purulent or blood-stained discharge, sometimes a painful lump that we call an abscess that may need to be drained as an emergency. Fistulae may involve the muscle to a different degree and may have branches making them complex and more difficult to treat. The treatment must be carried out by a surgeon with a special interest in the field because the risk of incontinence, if not well treated, is high. A specialized surgeon will exactly tailor the surgical treatment in order to minimize or to avoid any risk of incontinence that may grossly affect your quality of life. Unfortunately, there's no medical treatment that allows cures of a fistula, and surgeons should be aware of various techniques which allow to preserve the muscles. Sometimes placing a thread in the tract that we call a seton helps us control the possibility of infection and represents a bridge to other procedures. New techniques that we commonly perform include using a special camera to clean and burn the inside of the fistula, a technique that we call VAFT, or we can also use a laser probe. We can also ligate the fistula between the muscles to make it heal. If the fistula involves very little of the muscles, this can be laid open with minimal risk of incontinence. Make sure that if you or a member of your family has an anal fistula, it's seen by an expert surgeon who is experienced in the newest techniques and has extensive current knowledge of the topic. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me using the email below. For now, goodbye. Hope the video has been useful and as we say in Italy, arrivederci. See you soon and have an amazing day. Ciao.